So, you need to mount your network drive to your computer. How do you do it? Let me show you. Let's head to the terminal. I'll skip the typical manual mounting with the mount command at this point, as that is an easy but not a permanent solution. Instead, I'll show you the FSTAP solution, so you have your network drive available after every restart of your system. The good news is that it's a simple process. I'll cover both Samba slash CIFS share and NFS share. It's very similar, but not identical. Before we begin, it's important to determine the location of our network share, such as the IP address of the NAS and the specific location of the share on that device. If we are accessing Samba share, we'll probably also require credentials like a username and password. Let's start by supplying this information. Create a file in which you will store this information. In your home directory, do wim.smb credentials and store here this information on separate lines. Username equals your username, password equals your secure password, and domain equals your domain. I use here the ancient default Windows domain workgroup, save the file and close it. Escape colon WQ and change permissions on this file so only you can read it and edit it. Change mode 600 SMB credentials. And now the main part. Edit the etc fstab file as root or use sudo. sudo wim etc fstab and turn your attention to these two lines. The first one is auto mounting Samba or CIFS share, and the second one mounts NFS share. If you look closely, uh, you can see I mount here the exact same data from my Synology NAS DS219, but in two different ways. It took me a while to figure out exactly how these lines should look like, so I hope this will help you save some time. Let's start with the first line, the Samba share. The location needs to start with slash slash, then the IP address of network share, then slash, and the data share name, in my case data. So it's slash slash 10.0.0.102 slash data, then space and mount point on your computer, in my case slash mnt slash nas, then space and specify the protocol for Samba shares use CIFS, which stands for Common Internet File System, and then options delimited only by commas without any spaces. As the first option, I specify path to file with my credentials that we created a few moments ago. Credentials equals slash home slash pi slash dot smb credentials, comma uid equals 1000, comma g ID equals 1000. These two options specify that the files and folders in this mount will be owned by user and group with this UID and git. I'm doing this on my Raspberry Pi and the first user Pi typically has got the UID and GID equal to 1000. You can check your UID and GID on your system by running these commands id-u for uid and id-g for git. And the last option xsystemd auto mount ensures that the network mount is available when needed. Quote When xsystemd auto mount is used, systemd will enable auto mount trap where a file system may later be mounted. The file system itself is a separate unit and will only be mounted if there is a subsequent demand to use that path." End of quote. And the last two zeros are not important to us, just leave them as zero and zero. The first zero says that this file system needs not to be dumped, and the last zero says that the file system check doesn't need to run on this device. Okay, that is all you need to set up a Samba share. Now moving on to NFS share. As you can see here, the NFS share definition doesn't start with slash slash, as it did with Samba. It starts with IP address 10.0.0.102, colon slash and the mount path. The volume 1 slash data I found out when I was uh, setting that share on my Synology NAS. You will have to figure that out on your network share. On Synology Disk Station, you can find it here. Control panel, shared folder, right click the folder, edit. NFS permissions tab, and here at the bottom is your mount path. So that is the whole mount path. 100102 colon slash volume one slash data. Then space and the mount point on this computer slash MNT slash NAS NFS. 
space file system specified to NFS, space options, in this case only the X system, the auto mount option and the last two numbers I covered a moment ago. As you can see, this NFS share doesn't need any credentials. Security is resolved on the NAS itself. In my case, it only allows to mount itself from local networks. That's all. Save the file and close it. Escape colon WQ. So now, after reboot, this will mount your network share every time. To force it to do it right now, use this command. sudo mount-a. That will mount all the file systems not explicitly excluded uh, from the FS tab. So it will auto-mount these two new shares. Hope this video helped you. If so, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you. See you and bye.